Hi there, and welcome to this episode of Sipping Slowly. I'm Jeanette from Whiskey of the Week. And I am Rulia, blogger bay behind Boozy Foodie. This week we have something interesting. I have chosen Veeam's Malt The Hive. And I'm going to share the Boerplas Cape Ruby. So stick with us and see our thoughts on this. So Rilia, what did you bring for us? Well, seeing that we still, um, I wouldn't say in the grips of winter, but you know, it's still nice and cool in the cool evenings, enough. yes. I thought let's do a port, and yes, I'm going to say it. Port. Um, this is the Boerplas Cape Ruby and um, this is this is such a, a lovely lovely port this is of course coming from Carlet's store it would use your Portuguese varietals um, and yes I mean it's just lovely berries but, warm. Mm. technically you can't say port yeah we're not allowed to this is a what's it called uh, they, they say Cape, Cape, Ruby. Cape Ruby. Yeah. But it's made in a port style. Yes, exactly. That, that's what it's about. So there's a whole lot of politics behind using the name port, pretty much the same as we have with champagne. Um, but I don't know, I just call it what it is. <laughs> only only, only um, port made in a specific region mm -hmm. can be called port. Mm -hmm. But I think we make um, rather good. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's nice. Mm. It's not overly sweet. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Um, yeah, I think it, it's it's and I mean four four star platter guide, which is which is quite good. Um, and I was listening to a talk I was telling you a little bit earlier on seven o two a while ago, and they were talking specifically about port and the way we drink it. And what I found quite interesting is. We mainly have it as, you know, after dinner drink or with some even, cheese. With some cheese, you know, like a aperitif. But um, we should actually experiment a little bit more when it comes to drinking port. Um, I remember them specifically saying big glass of wine, lot of oh, big big wine glass, lots of ice, and you know, just, just sip on it. And I think that's quite an interesting, interesting idea because we're so used to drinking port Small like this, glasses. and it's perfect. I mean, it's, there's nothing wrong with it. But I like the idea of you know big glass, big glass, lots of ice, nice, easy drinking in summer as well. well because it's a wine base. Yes, exactly, so, exactly. So yeah, uh, if I can, mm. what glass not only make. <laughs> they, they also actually do whiskey and gin. Mm. I, think I the, saw that. Mm. The whiskey I think is aged in brandy casks and I have seen some of their gin as well. Mm. So they're quite versatile distilling family down mm. in um, Carlet's Store. Carlet's Store, yes exactly. What I saw and I'm, I'm struggling to get hold of it, they quite recently released a port gin. Yeah, so it's also okay. like a pink gin. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah I've, I, I need to get my that hands on that. I need to get my hands well, on for that. now, yes. the Cape Ruby, not port. <laughs> it's very delicious. It will be fine, thank you. <laughs> so, Jeanette, what are we sipping this week? Well, this week I have chosen the Veeam's Malt The Hive. I tried Veeam's for the first time at Wild About Whiskey in Dalsby. Okay, okay. Love that place. Yes, they have an amazing variety and mm. a lot of the, the whiskey they, or the Veeam's whiskey they have there are single cask whiskies. So it's one big cask that they bottle, it's about 300 odd bottles and they give a tasting note mm. and they, they issue that. But this is a blended malt and what Veeam's is well known for is the fact that, that they name the whiskies based on the flavour notes Oh, okay. in the, in the bottle. Yes, you showed me a couple of bottles. Yeah. So, okay, we, for yes. example, there's a, a dark chocolate orange as a single cask and it mm -hmm. tastes like dark, dark chocolate, chocolate orange. orange. Okay. They have gooseberry marmalade, they have brandy casket, a single malt, mm. and you can't find that in South Africa. Mm. However, the blended malt, you can find it in South Africa. Mm. Now, blended malt is a malt that has 
a mixture of different distilleries, but there's only malt whiskey in here, there's no grain whiskey. So grain whiskey okay. is similar to a, to a Baines, mm -hmm. there's no grain whiskey in here, there's only malt whiskey, and I think there's about 10 different distilleries in here. Oh, wow. And the idea is to make it sweet, honey sweet, the hive. Oh, of course, of course. So, and this is... Oh, look at that color. It's beautiful, mm -hmm. like honey, it's mm -hmm. honey colored. That is gorgeous. And it's not too ex expensive, I can't remember the exact price, um, but it wasn't that expensive. You can find it at most good bottle stores. And I think there's also a pea chimney, and there's another, there's th three in the, in the range. Mm. But this is the one I like. And I see it's got a little bee on the hive. <laughs> uh, cool. Hmm. So there we go. And you'll immediately pick up honey. Mm. Yes. There's honey, fruit. Bits of ginger. Mm. Oh, that's lovely. Ooh. It's different. Mm. It's, it's big and bold. It's, this is lovely. Mm. It's easy drinking. Mm. There is a nice and smooth. Yeah, a, mm. a, a, a honey richness about it without mm. it being sweet. Sweet. Yeah. Super sweet. Mm. Yeah, because that's the first thing you normally think if somebody says honey, um, you know, you think it's going to hit you with lots of sweetness, and it actually isn't. <coughs> but yeah, subtle. Mm. fruit, baked apples, and some research indicated that this will mm. pair very nicely with a pastry. Oh, okay. I have no idea. See how my face just up. <laughs> <laughs> pastry. Pastry. <laughs> so I did get a pastry. Oh, okay. Um, I haven't tried this pairing. Okay, you're very brave. But I thought, let's try it. <laughs> it might be overly sweet. Mm -hmm. oh, there we go, sorry. Let me grab a bit. Thank you. And see if this, um, if this tasting of a pastry, French mm. um, raisin roll and in the hive, it's an overly sweet uh, works. Mm, lovely pastry. Mmm, that's very interesting. The whisk is immediately more peppery. Mm. Can you taste mm. the pepper? How strange is that? Mm, it's a... Okay. It's a fruit and the raisins mm. yes. in the pastry. Okay. Makes it more. Um, oh, this is lovely. More peppery. Mm. It's a nice berry. Mm. Pastry and very whiskey. successful one. Mm. Okay. I like it. Mm. Your research is like good. Yeah, this is decent. Mm. Whoa, this was cool. Thank you. This is really nice. So after we devoured the pastry <laughs> <laughs> off camera, which was really delicious, and finished all the port, so that was also very delicious, thank you for joining us on this episode of Sipping Slowly. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter and see what else we get up to. If you like this episode, give us a big thumbs up. And if you've got any questions, leave a comment below and we can um, answer the questions or talk about something that you've, questioned, you've got questions about. Mm -hmm. Have a great week and we'll see you again next week.